Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Infinity Workforce Solutions Fast Forward webinar series. Uh, my name is Steve Kessler, and I'm going to be the host for the program today. Uh, I appreciate you all joining us. I know it's uh, difficult sometimes to take a few minutes out of your day, but uh, we certainly appreciate you being here. Uh, we got a really uh, uh, enjoyable program for you all this morning. From time to time, we try to spotlight uh, some of our clients out there and speak to them about uh, the Infinity Workforce uh, software product and uh, find out how they're using it and how things are working for them. Uh, it's also an opportunity for you all to ask questions if you would like to uh, ask uh, some questions. Our, our guest today is, is Tim Gould. Uh, Tim's the chief risk officer for Spartan Carrier Group over in Fort Worth. Uh, one thing I would like for you all to do, if you don't mind, if you would uh, jump on the chat box down there and uh, uh, type in you know, who you are and uh, what company you're with and where you're from uh, so we can get to know who's there. Um, I see some of our uh, good customers logging in and thank you all for doing that. Uh, but let me just uh, introduce our, our guest, uh, uh, Tim, this morning. Uh, Tim, as I said, is the uh, chief uh, 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 risk officer for Spartan Carriers. Uh, Tim uh, is a proud military veteran and a former law enforcement officer, uh, a Smith System instructor, and he's got a really strong background. Uh, Tim's worked with uh, companies, Fortune 500 companies, uh, all the way down to little startup organizations and help them with safety and compliance. Um, he's he's pretty well known, obviously, in the industry for creating best in class safety programs and actually has a reputation for getting programs in place that reduce accidents by as much as 50 percent. And I'm sure that's a goal. Everybody that's uh, tuned in today would certainly like to reach that. Uh, Tim's got a, a B.A. degree, a master's degree, a master's. And I think that's business management, uh, Tim, and also a Ph.D., and I do know one of the things that Tim is very proud of is he uh, volunteers as a driver for the Shriners Hospital and helps uh, transport children and their parents uh, to the hospital during those uh, uh, times of, of need. And I know it's something that Tim is very proud of. Uh, so, uh, Tim, good morning. Welcome, sir. Appreciate you being here. Well, thank you, Steve. Yeah, it's been a very pleasure and, and honored to be invited. Great. Thank you, Tim. So uh, let's just kick this off, and I uh, want you just tell us a little bit about Spartan Carrier Group. Uh, you know what you do, and how long the company's been around. Just tell us a little bit about uh, Spartan. Okay, well, Spartan started in June of 2021, or July 1st of 2021, maybe officially. Um, we have, uh, so it's a fairly new company. Uh, we had a uh, a lot of us that had come from uh, another company, a Fortune 500 company, it was right after the pandemic, uh, with a mission and a vision. We really wanted to be uh, really just a transportation solution uh, solution type of company. So uh, a couple of us stepped out on faith, uh, about four of us uh, initially, and uh, have just systematically started helping companies uh, uh, their transportation solutions problems, and we've developed now into uh, a pretty decent sized company over the last couple of years. We're probably $40, $50 million worth of revenue uh, already. And uh, we anticipate a continued growth uh, in that. And I've been, uh, was initially hired uh, to do safety and compliance uh, for the company and have since taken on the role of chief risk officer, covering all the uh, legal compliance, HR, and safety. And, much any other thing that they can't quite figure out, they, they come to me and say, hey, this sounds like a risk issue. Can you take care of it? So it's been it's been a fun ride so far. Sounds like you wear a lot of hats there at the company. A lot of hats. I had a full head of hair and all the hats just started wearing it off. You know? There you go. About how many drivers do you all have on the road these days, Tim? Currently, we have about 96 drivers currently. Uh, okay. Days. Very good. Very good. Um. I've set up kind of a series of questions I'd like to have. And by the way, folks, uh, those of you tuned in, if you have a question, you can go ahead and and type it in that chat box. That way we can uh, uh, try to take your questions and get those answered. So uh, if you think of something you want to ask Tim uh, during the program, uh, feel free to go ahead and type that in the chat box. So uh, Tim, um, 
tell us, uh, have you been using the Infinity system right from the start of Spartan? Or is that something? Not, not, yeah, not at the very beginning. Uh, and it was simply just due to size and, and being a startup, you, you know, the very limited resources. And stuff. So we didn't actually start off. Uh, we've been with Infinity since August of 2022. I used it with a former company um, and managed it in their safety side. So I knew Infinity and was very excited when we got to a point that we can launch Infinity into our, into our company. First opportunity, I jumped on it. Very good. Thank you. Um, so tell us, uh, you know, obviously you train your drivers on the system. Are there other people in the company that uh, take part in, in, in training on the system? Oh, yeah. Every single one of our employees, drivers and, and staff employees, approximately 121 drivers are, are involved in, in the Infinity system. So it's not just a platform for drivers. We use this platform company-wide for everybody. Okay. Um, so you're talking about dispatchers and mechanics and people in the office. And uh, so it's all the way up to the CEO. Yeah. yeah. Even all the way up to the CEO. I mean, and, and your custom content that, that you all came out with has really just exploded the system. Uh, it made it something that was valuable for the entire company. So we do have, obviously, the video training. We can, we can implement that uh, company-wide. Um, but the custom content, because of that, it really opened up the entire company. Uh, to have a single single training program uh, that we can communicate to all of our all of our employees. That's great. That's fantastic. Um, let's just move on here. Um, you know, obviously, and this is kind of uh, some commentary by me. Uh, you guys are using this enterprise wide in your company, and it's a, the, this business of a safety culture is something that we're hearing more and more and more about. And it's something that as uh, from our company, from our standpoint, uh, it's going to be important, we think, going forward to really focus on a culture of safety throughout your entire company. Uh, you know, we've had a lot of, uh, of uh, FMCSA regulations. You know, we had CSA put in place, you know, third, 12, 13 years ago. Uh, we've had uh, e-logs put in place. Uh, we put the drug clearing house in place. And yet a lot of these, those things that we've all uh, spent a lot of time, energy and money on haven't really reduced the fatalities and accidents out there on the road. And we feel like companies have to kind of move more towards an entire culture of safety uh, to kind of ingrain that in their business. Do you have comments about that? Is that something you're trying to get at Spartan? Well, yeah, this the Infinity is is perfect in order to enhance our safety culture. Uh, we, you know, we, we want to have a, a safety culture within our company. Um, this the Infinity platform. What I love one thing about it so much is that I know it's in uh, changing our safety culture, enhancing it. Our CSA scores are able to stabilize and start to reduce. Uh, it, it helps reinforce the safety culture that we practice in our company. Uh, safety is so important to us that we don't start any meeting, even if it's the executive meeting uh, in a conference room. Every time we meet, there's a safety message. At the end of every meeting, there's a safety message. So it's that consistent, constant message of safety, safety, safety. That way we're always thinking. And nobody knows who's going to get called for the safety message. So everybody comes prepared to have a safety message. It just kind of implants safety as a mindset. Uh, and the yeah. Infinity program just helps to reinforce and reinforce and even give them some ideas, <laughs> honestly, uh, for some of the safety topics. No, that's great. Uh, yeah, one of the the things that I think about when, you know, people ask, well, what exactly is a safety culture? And my best answer to that, and I, I'm hoping you'll agree with me, is doing the right thing when nobody's looking. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, when you're when you're at that point, then I think you truly have a culture. And and just to kind of back that up a little bit, we've had occasion enough to talk to uh, some of the attorneys that defend trucking companies. And if you can demonstrate a culture of safety, it goes a long way for them uh, to be able to stop some of that punitive damage that they often want to do. Because if you can stand in front of the court and say, you know what, we train our people in the payroll department about safety, uh, you're demonstrating that you are focused on safety totally. You know, people are going to make mistakes from time to time, but uh, 
it shouldn't necessarily be looked at as a fault of the company. So, Absolutely. I think due diligence is, is critical, uh, especially with the, the kind of lawsuits and the nuclear verdicts that are out there, that any time that we can show that we're doing our complete due diligence, that now you do have an error. You know, now you do have a literal accident. It was it was an isolated incident. It's not a um, it wasn't something that's bred. It's yeah, it's not it's, negligence. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we all make mistakes from time to time. Okay, so uh, um, how are you currently using the system? I, I suspect probably across all these things I've got here on the screen, is it something you use as part of your orientation uh, for new drivers? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's automatically part. We integrate with 10th Street, so uh, it's already integrated into our new driver onboarding. We okay. The orientation, uh, we're able to customize some content on there that we can make it very specific. Although uh, Infinity has such a, a great library of videos, uh, a lot of that is coming straight out of the Infinity program. Uh, we use it to communicate special notices to targeted demographics on terminals. Since we have terminals spread all over the country, we're able with Infinity to uh, categorize those drivers by terminal, and we can isolate specific training for specific terminals as needed. Okay. Uh, we use it to publish our new policies, any SOPs uh, that we need to get in front of every driver very quickly. And again, another thing I love about this, this system is that when we load that up, we assign it to the folks, automatically they get a notification that there's something that they need to go into and see very quick response. Uh, usually within that next hour, we start seeing the completions of those employees getting those notices. And of course, we do monthly continued training. And, and I got to gotta give a great shout out to your staff on this one, because as a safety director and, and our safety team, still in a relatively small company, but uh, so our safety team is still relatively small. To be able, your team was able to help line us up and to uh, block out an entire year worth of monthly training, and you don't know how how um, how much benefit that is to us to be able to spend one day blocking out an entire year of training. That way, we know the targeted areas automatic uh, generated every month out to the driver. So we yeah. the continued monthly training that you guys give us, uh, and then of course we use it for corrective active corrective action training. Any kind of retraining, preventable accidents, uh, any kind of failed inspections, we use highly use the independent system to reinforce good behavior to answer the bad. Our philosophy is we're always going to answer an unsafe act with proper training, uh, information of good, good habits. Fantastic. Uh, I would assume also you have some departments uh, thinking maybe of human resources that may, and I think that's part of your world too, uh, Tim, to... Uh, perhaps use the system for HR type content, uh, you know, maybe letting some of your frontline managers understand some of the EEOC regulations and all that sort of uh, stuff that's become more and more important as time has gone on. Yes, absolutely. You bet. Every one of our departments, every every head of our department has their own, uh, I guess their own, I, I, I forget the term, but they're a uh, a user group, or they have a yeah. user group. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. they have a user group. Uh, trader for their user group, so they've got the full blanket for the infinity library to help again specify training that's going to be uh, relevant to them, or if they wanted to add new content for their particular department that they can isolate and, and train it. Yeah, that's fantastic. Awesome. Um, so this is a question that we hear quite a lot. You know, we've got our system in place and, uh, you know, how do we get the drivers or the other people in the company? How do we get them to complete the training? What's your policy on that? And how do you get that uh, high completion rate, Tim? Well, you know, again, it's uh, it really kind of goes to the safety culture. So we established that right from the hiring process that we are a uh, uh, safety culture that we uh, communicate to them that there will be training. There'll be continued training. You know, every professional organization, if you're going to call yourself a professional, what distinguishes you as a professional is continued education. You know, a doctor is a professional. He has continued education. Law enforcement, they're professionals. They have continued education. There's no difference with the professional driver. So we tell them right up front that there will be continued education because, as you mentioned, things change. Um, laws change and, and stuff. So, 
we established that from the, uh, the hiring point of uh, a driver coming on board. Uh, our safety department works with the terminal managers, so our terminal managers are also on board with the safety culture, uh, and they manage those drivers in the training. So they all get notifications of uh, who hasn't completed the news on it. Um, and after a while, usually the, the, the big pickup is probably the first 30 days. That's about how long it takes to train a habit. Uh, so in that first 30 days, we give a lot of, uh, a lot more special attention to the new drive, new onboarding drivers to make sure that they're comfortable, that they understand the system. And we kind of stay on them for a little bit that first 30 days. After that, they know that there's the drivers and then know that there's accountability and staff. They know that when they get an assignment that they can complete it. And they're good and they can go about their day or they can ignore it and they're going to get a call. And so we do kind of babysit them for that first 30 day period. Sure. And for a while, we form that habit and continuously just check it. Accountability is one of the biggest uh, uh, elements of having training completed uh, just a little bit every day. And once they understand that there's accountability, the drivers tend to get on board. We get a very, very good completion ratio. That's awesome. Uh, you know, it's uh, it sounds like because of the culture that you put together, I mean, the drivers come to realize pretty quick that uh, if they're not going to participate in this training, they're probably not going to be in the company very long. They won't be so, happy here. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you've, you've kind of set the prerequisite for how it's going to go before they even come on board the company. Exactly. I think that's, that's fantastic. Uh, might take you a little longer to find that person, but uh, uh, in the end, you'll have one that'll stay with you. So one of the things that uh, is pretty important, and you and I've talked about this before, Tim, but you know, one of the things we've come to find out, you know, online training is is fairly common in the industry today, and one of the things that we have found uh, that these uh, billboard plaintiff attorneys out there, the ones that are trying to get all of our money. Um, have learned to ask about the completion percentage that you have uh, with your online training. And uh, I'd be curious to know uh, about where you're falling with your completion percentage. Well, uh, actually, good that you asked that. Uh, I just happened to meet with my director of safety this morning just to get an update. I kind of felt like I knew where we were, so I wanted to get his uh, feelings on where we are. And Typically, we on our around the 90 percentile that we have about uh, every month. So we schedule our schedule training in the beginning of the month. We give the drivers uh, uh, on their monthly training, we give them a, a month mm -hmm. to complete that. Mm -hmm. About 90 percent of that. Uh, there is a 10 percent lag typically uh, that we do have to take down. But typically, also that's our new drivers. Just like I said, it takes a little time for them to get used to it. But sure, we are always at 100 percent of the eventual. We will do 100% completion. Um, that's that's the only KPI that is acceptable to me is 100%. We don't put this training out there for it to float. We want the training to be taken, so we're going to stay on top of it. So we, we typically do about a 90% range. Um, and then that 10% is really just lag of new drivers. Yeah. You know, when the uh, when we've talked to some of our uh, defense lawyers out there, you know, the they have heard from time to time, you know, companies reply to that question I just asked you is, you know, 30%. Well, that just turns into ammunition for the plaintiff lawyers because uh, they're just going to look at the jury and say, well, they're not serious about this. So their people don't even take the training that they've got. But on the other side of that coin, if the answer is what you just said, that it's more than 90% and the goal is 100, then the defense lawyer is going to tell the jury and pass that around and this is uh, all this goes so far to make you defendable and more insurable. Uh, all these uh, uh, people training and getting that kind of a completion rate uh, just makes a huge difference when you do end up in one of those situations where you have to prove up what you've done. And yeah, uh, I agree. I think that, you know, and I think the key of it is, is that we don't just have the safety department managing this program. You know, we right. have. And, and again, going to the safety culture, because it's our culture, it's not just the safety department doing it. It has to have the buy-in of the operations staff, too, because they manage them. Right. And everybody is held accountable. Everybody does their little part. And I think that's a real key. 
if everybody does their little bit, then this doesn't become laborious and it doesn't become overwhelming. Yeah. If you have education, then the drivers will conform. It's becoming more common, but it does no good to have a great safety program sitting on a shelf. That's more. It doesn't help anybody, does it? More of a detriment than an asset. Yeah. You're not going to do it just by owning a safety system. You actually have to use it. Great. Awesome. Um, one of the other things that, uh, and I think you mentioned it, uh, that, you know, you mentioned uh, custom content and that's, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, we've made quite easy for uh, companies now to put custom content into the system. Uh, you have quite a lot of custom content. Tim, can you expand on that and what kind of stuff do you put in there? Okay, this is Probably one of my biggest joys uh, when you all introduce the custom content because uh, I have many, many, many types of custom content. Uh, it's one of the priceless pieces that I love so much about the system. It's so easy and it's so quick. You know, in a world where we have drivers all over the country, the ability to communicate to them with special notices, to training videos, just super critical. Uh, as we all know, in, in any business, communication is a key to success. Infinity gives us uh, that ability. The custom content system, well, it's, it's really only limited to your imagination. So we'll have doc and, and the ability to have that driver sign and acknowledge. Now I've got a dated and signed acknowledgement. Um, it's just crucial. Uh, it's, it's, it's really limited to your own imagination. So we've got everything from policies to videos, uh, kind of message that we need to communicate out to that driver. Infinity is my go-to source for that. Because I can deploy it so quickly, yeah. Sponsors back so quick gives you a chance to to react to something if you need to uh, to put something out quickly. Uh, I also happen to know I think that you're one of uh, the companies out there that make sure everybody has copies or reads and understands the Federal Motor Carrier regulations. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. So, so we uh, at, when we were starting, and I'll tell you, uh, Steve. When we were start up, starting out, I mean, our resources were so limited. I did with most with other companies and other companies that I worked for before. And you go to, um, you know, J.J. Keller and you look for that little green book and you start stocking up on that. And, yeah. and when I was with other carriers and stuff, same thing. We would use that same thing. And those little things are about $5 a piece or so. And every driver that started orientation had, had that handbook. I thought, well, you know what? We got this custom content with uh, Infinity handbook and all the regs are right there online. I did a massive PDF uh, PDF download and I was able to slap all those regs into a PDF. So whenever our drivers are on board, they automatically, whenever they sign in, it's automatically in the resource there that got that FMCSR guide and uh, they did once a year with new regs. I think I've actually even sent it over to you guys if anybody else wants it. So it's yeah, I think uh, yeah, we have a digital version, I think, now that's available for everybody. And, and thank you for that, Tim. Uh, all right. So, uh, you know, how's it working overall? Uh, is it made ch positive changes? Do you feel like you're, you know, getting better CSA results? Uh, uh, is it working? Oh, it, it works fantastic. Again, uh, there's not a day that we don't do it. Um, you know, at the beginning, uh, when the custom content first came out, there were a few steps in the beginning. Um, you know, what I like is that Infinity actually held a forum with its users and gathered some important feedback from its clients. And I love that because we're non-geeks. And, and I mean that respectfully. I'm not an IT geek. I, I don't know a lot of, about the computers and stuff. And right. so I really appreciated that you guys created a forum and said, hey, what do you think about this custom content thing? And how is it working? There were a little awkward, a few awkward spots for us uh, non-intelligent uh, IT. But you listen, you guys took the uh, suggestions, and it was probably within a week or so, you had implemented some very user-friendly uh, steps and tips in there. So now the custom content is floating. It's just very, very smooth, very friendly. Yeah, and one, one of the things we've come to know, you know, we have a lot of good content in the system, uh, but, you know, personalized custom content for a company, I, I think kind of takes you to the next level. Number one, it proves a real serious uh, uh, safety 
uh, situation in your company, but also I think your your users out there, the drivers and other people in your company, you know, appreciate uh, having people they know as part of this training content. Perhaps you're you're uh, showing some of the equipment that the drivers use. You know, people they know, equipment they use. It has more of a positive impact on people, and I'm always glad to to hear when companies have a lot of custom content because that is another indicator of a real strong safety culture. Uh, If you're just taking things off the shelf and that's all well and good, it's good content, uh, but you're taking it to the next level uh, when you're utilizing uh, custom content with some frequency. And I don't know how many you had in there. It looked like you had almost 200 different pieces of custom content in there. So we we had a lot and and no plans on shortening that. So I'm probably not all your bandwidth or whatever it is that they, they call that but you know we, we do enjoy it and you know again we want to be a, we want to be and i know a lot of transportation companies are out there too and they think the same thing a lot of us have drivers scattered everywhere yeah we utilize this as much as we can to really put faces with the name you know we're we're in such a digital society now and everything yeah. is by text and everything one of the nice things about infinity is you know your CEOs, your operations manager, your safety director, all of the people that the drivers care about but never really get to see. It's a great, great, quick way that you can do a video literally on your phone to wish your, your drivers a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Yeah. You know, holiday, just little, even little sound, sound bites like that that you can publicize out. The way to connect um, that with the drivers. That really helps to increase that uh, driver morale too. Absolutely. Uh, call to ask for Tim. They don't have to wonder who Tim is. <laughs> I've had a, a conversation with them at least um, remotely, so that it makes that connection a little bit easier. So you have you know the opportunity to you know have a touch point with them on a frequent basis, and I you know nobody likes to be ignored, and I think uh, uh, the more you can touch and reach out, uh, whatever the you're trying to accomplish is important. So um, thanks for all your answers. Do uh, you have any future plans, anything else you got in mind uh, uh, that uh, you want to try to do with the system? Well, you know, funny you asked because just yesterday, um, you are right in the midst of doing, at, at the end of the year, for benefits change, uh, medical benefits change. Again, this is going out of safety now, and kind of into the HR and benefits side, but with medical benefits, I, I found out that you know, we're going from a regular medical to a self-funded or level funding plan. Right. Medical, benefit, medical benefits are typically very hard to understand the whole process. It takes. It took me months of study and just to understand the fundamentals. So what we're doing now is we're, we've aligned with our benefits partner. We're in the process of making these short five-minute video clips on how that new medical benefit program works. Uh, Infinity has absolutely sold me on the short clip concept. It's very effective. So that's what I told my folks. Let's produce videos, short clips, break, make another clip until all the information is completed. So I'm really super excited about the benefits program. Uh, and I want everybody to be just as excited about it as well. Now, I know Infinity is going to help make that. Not to mention the custom content that we're doing uh, for the Shriner Hospital, as you, you mentioned before, and you can see my says behind me. Yeah, um, I'm a Shriner, and, and one of my jobs is to transport the children and their parents to the hospitals in the Shriner Hospital in Galveston. Uh, Infinity was very generously, has very generously donated this platform uh, to the Shriner Hospital so that we're able now to train up, because we are drivers, uh, to train up those drivers, and we're all over the country. Uh, so make some custom content for uh, for the Shriner Hospital and stuff like that. So. Again, it's just it's limited to your own imagination of what the capability of the system can do. I, I'm just thrilled with it. That's fantastic. Uh, I think everybody out there should appreciate uh, what you and your company do for the Shriner uh, organization. Uh, I can't think of a better place to, uh, to put some of your time and energy. Uh, what you all do is very important. Um, uh, Tim, I, I don't know that I have a whole lot more questions. The one thing I do want to say to our people sitting out there, you know, you've heard us talk a little bit about the Infinity system today. 
And uh, uh, I'm just going to put a little poll up here on the screen. If anybody is interested in uh, uh, hearing a little bit more about us and uh, what we might be able to do to help you out, uh, certainly uh, uh, go ahead and click on one of the other uh, uh, yes or no links there, and we'll certainly reach out to you and uh, uh, tell you what we do. And if it's a fit, great. Uh, we'll uh, uh, tell you all about it. So, uh, Tim, I don't see any other questions coming in. I certainly absolutely appreciate uh, the time you spent with us this morning. And uh, uh, we hope that we'll continue to have the good relationship that we have with you. And I do want to say one last thing before we adjourn here is uh, we've got another webinar coming up on the 7th of November. And we're going to have uh, Rebecca Brewster, who is the president of the American Transportation Research Institute. And she's going to talk about their recently released uh, top 10 industry issues. So these are the top 10 things that are on the minds of the trucking industry these days. So I encourage you all to, to join in and uh, uh, hear what Rebecca has to say. So... Uh, uh, Tim, thank you, sir. Appreciate uh, uh, your time this morning. Uh, great information. It looks like you're doing a great job there. And uh, uh, all I can say is thank you, sir. Appreciate you uh, joining us this morning. Well, thank you, Steve. Thank you. You, you, you guys at Infinity are truly amazing. Uh, you have an amazing system and amazing people. So, love them. Very good, Tim. Thank you, sir. And I hope to, to see you and talk to you again soon. So enjoy uh, your, you've got a big deal going on this afternoon with the Shiner Circus, right? Circus in Fort Worth this weekend, yep. So if anybody's close by, uh, make sure you run out there and see what's going on. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate it. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks everybody else for joining this morning. Bye-bye.